Hi guys, this is Connie from WCC Children's. Today we're going to learn um, about some unlikely heroes. Do you guys know of any unlikely heroes? I can name a few that we've learned about. Joshua, Nehemiah, Elijah, Esther, Ruth, Mary, Peter, Paul. And today we're going to learn about Timothy. Timothy was a follower, um, Paul taught him to go out and, and teach. So our verse today is from Matthew 28, 19 through 20. It says, so go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have taught you, and I will be with you always, even until the end of this age. And that's what Paul did with Timothy. He taught him how to go out and teach. Now, Timothy was pretty young, so people didn't really take him too terribly serious for a while. Or maybe some of them made fun of him even, like they make fun of us. I'm old, so nobody listens to me. And you're young, so maybe somebody's not going to listen to you. But you can be an unlikely hero. Today's... Um, like I just said, today's unlikely hero is Timothy. Timothy lived in a place called Lystra with his grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice, who taught him all about God. Timothy loved to spend time with God, and he knew that someday God was going to send a Savior to rescue him and his people from sin. Timothy lived far away from the place where Jesus was when he came to earth. So when the Apostle Paul came to Lystra, where Timothy lived, he finally heard all about Jesus. This made Timothy so happy. Timothy wanted to know more about how to follow Jesus and how to know God better and how to tell his friends about Jesus. Timothy followed Paul everywhere and they shared the gospel. They went to Greece and Corinth and Jerusalem and Rome, Thessalonica and some other places. Timothy was faithful as he followed Paul and he helped him. Timothy wanted to learn all about the best ways to tell people about Jesus and how to grow in God's kingdom. Now, I don't know about you, but that'd be kind of fun to follow somebody and go around with them and learn, especially to Greece or Jerusalem. That'd be really cool. Timothy learned so much. Some people thought he was too young to be teaching such things. And Paul wrote to Timothy when Paul was not with Timothy and told him, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. So Timothy remained faithful in his ministry, and he kept preaching and teaching and sharing the gospel. How many of us can be faithful? and teach and preach and share the gospel. Can we do that at school? Timothy remained faithful even when things got tough. You see, there were some people doing some very, not very nice things. So Timothy worked hard to show them how to live like Jesus. And after a while, Timothy and Paul couldn't be together all the time. So Paul wrote letters to him. And that was one of them I just told you about when Paul told him, to be faithful and not be afraid, but to be brave and keep telling people about Jesus. And sometimes Timothy felt afraid to tell people about God because he thought no one was going to listen to him. So Paul wrote Timothy and kept writing him and encouraging him. How many of us can do that with our friends that are maybe new to the faith or maybe newer, even with ourselves, just be encouraging to ourselves and keep being faithful God's always with us, and God was with Timothy. When Paul grew very old, Timothy remained faithful to his mentor, who was Paul, and his friend. And most importantly, Timothy remained faithful to what God had called him to do. He kept sharing the gospel and building the church. Now, we don't have to be a preacher to share the gospel, and we've all been called to share the gospel. And we don't have to be in a church building like today. We're not in a church building but we still need to share the gospel in the love of God. 
We can read some of the letters Paul wrote to Timothy. They're in the New Testament. The books are called the First and Second Timothy, and I encourage you guys to look them up this week. Timothy was an unlikely hero, an ordinary guy just like us, who God used to do extraordinary things. Learning about God was Timothy's favorite thing to do. He faithfully did this his whole life. Now let's um, think about if we can be like Timothy and be faithful and serve God like we're supposed to. That would be wonderful. Let's bow our heads and let's pray that we can. Father, we just thank you that you've given us these words of encouragement. Even though they came from Paul and they were to Timothy, we can still live through them and, and know that we too are supposed to be Timothys. We just ask that you show us ways this week. In Jesus' name, amen.